to go to the Olympic Games. She has averaged 8 9 5 1 in her four meets. That's not good enough in Sydney. But like I said earlier, I think Dominique Dawes might be that one that can fill that hole on the vault. Bella said to me before this competition, vault was critical for her. He wanted to see her be better. Now she's ending on balance beam. If she can have the routine of her life, I, I, I don't know how he can deny her. And when you go with Dominique Dawes, you also get another big return. You got a marquee player right there. This young lady, not one time Olympian, two time Olympian, and she's got a gold medal to go with it. You walk out onto the floor in Sydney, Australia. The Russians are looking, the Romanians, everybody's saying, oh, the Americans, they got a different team. Dominique Dawes, she's back. So who's out? Right now, it does not look good for this young lady right there, unless Bella Caroli thinks that after the team is chosen and they go to his ranch outside of Houston for 10 days, that he can somehow get her straight. Do you think he believes that? Well, that's a possibility. There's no question about it. He said to me earlier today, Timmy, don't forget, vaulting. We need a vaulter. And Vanessa Atler, she is a born vaulter. She didn't show it today, though. We've come down now to the uh, last few routines. Dominique Dawes has a shot to go on the beam. Amy Chow, Krista Maloney, and then that's it. It's decision time. This matters too, right here, though, because this is incredible pressure. I do not believe start value. I do not believe small little tents matter in this routine. What matters, can she deal with the pressure? Stick a routine. And stick a routine. Like that. Another big test for Dawes right here. She had trouble at Nationals. Solid. Just the dismount. It all came down to just staying on the balance beam. She has been in this position before, the pressure, she knows what it's all about, and she looked cool. Watch this. <laughs> Elise Ray and Dominique Dawes, are they going to be teammates? Here's Amanda Stroud. Amanda's fortunate to be here at the Nationals in St. Louis on the uneven bars on the dismount. Her knee came up and broke her nose. And she's also competing here at the trials with a huge bandage around her left knee. May not be her time, but I'll tell you, this young lady, she has got tremendous athletic ability. Coach told me it's just a great experience being on the floor with all these potential and former Olympic greats. 
prior to the Nationals, some people were talking up Amanda Stroud, a lot like people were talking up Elise Ray a year ago. That's how quick it can happen. Stroud's Olympic trials are over. She's going to uh, finish last ahead of only Shannon Miller, but I don't know that that matters. She got through it. Now, Amy Chow on the beam. They still have not announced the score for Dominic Dawes. Dawes got a 9.037. When the crowd hears that, they're going to go nuts. You know, I said that I don't really think that the start value and all that stuff will matter much with Dawes. Well, that was a close call. Big this element. Right here, yeah. This is world class. Just think about doing that just in your living room. Make sure you push the coffee table out of the way. dismount coming up ends with the triple she was great that she and he go to Sydney. Mark Young is her coach. They've been together, together since she was three. They were together in Atlanta. Right now, it looks like they'll be together in Sydney. And wow, what a return to competition for Amy Chow. 